This is Gorilla, a six foot five, 275 pound bodybuilder out of Norway. And this is him next to me, a 230 pound white guy. He makes me look like a child. Now the craziest thing about him is that he's natural. He probably has the best natural physique since Ronnie Coleman, except he's seven inches taller. So today, Gorilla is going to take us through his workouts, his diet, and give us a little bit of his lore so we can determine once and for all if this is truly the greatest natural bodybuilder ever or if he's just another fitness fraud. I feel like Charles Xavier because I got a couple of fucking mutants behind me. Today, we have Ernest, aka Gorilla. Feels a bit racist to say that, not gonna lie. And then we also have Shan. You guys know Shan. This guy, we flew him out from Norway. Absolutely insane physique. And also, apparently, natural. I don't know if I believe it, but we'll see in the gym. Well, well, well. If it isn't Dimitri, just adding to the, the absolute monstrosities here today. I feel like we're the fucking X Men. All the mutants. <laughs> you know, I have the Six. brain. Yeah. You have the bench press. He has, uh, he has like everything, I guess. And Shan looks retarded. <laughs> Yo, so you might wonder how I can fly all these people out and everything. It's the retaliation project. Yeah, so essentially that's what's been facilitating a lot of my content recently. It's just through the brand. Guys, if you want to become a creator and you want to leverage, you know, your personal brand and have cool opportunities like having the ability to fly literally anyone you want out to you to create content or fly to them or travel or do whatever you want, I really recommend you join Creator Academy. Probably the best place for all things making money as a content creator. If you would like to get your first $10,000 month, you want to join Creator Academy. So the first link in the description will take you to the school. I hope to see you in there, guys. Weekly calls with me every week, obviously. We're going to get you guys right. So if you want to be a creator, pop down there. I'm looking like the biggest guy here. What's he laughing about? You're like half my size, bro. That's true, bro. I'm just laughing because it's true. Yeah, I mean, I, like, I remember when I was, like, insecure about, like, my body and everything. Yeah. You honestly look like you need to hit arms, to be That's honest. True, bro. Also, true. maybe some retaliation project. Yeah. Upgrade the gym drip. We don't want to go to the gym wearing, like, something out of a trash can, you know? <laughs> See that shit? Yeah, it's it's called fucking hard work and dedication. It's called waking up, 5 a.m., no fat, okay? Yo, look at how Indian Shan looks with the red thing on his head. It's a fucking pimple, bro. Fuck you. Something wrong with your arms. Bottom what the bro, fuck bro. is that? What the fuck is that? Yo. Natty. Natty. I've been like back for the last like week eating a bit better, but I'm not gonna lie. What you eat reflects on the outside. So if your insides look like shit, your outside's gonna look like shit. You might look good relative to what you're eating, but if you look good eating a shit diet, imagine how good you'd look eating a good diet, right? What kind of skills are you working on when everyone else is like sleeping? Like you're always grinding. What are you normally working on? Smoking weed, playing video games, jerking off. Um, how the fuck are you so strong? You don't train. I train normally and then when it comes to it, I kind of try and then it gets up. It's like taking Cialis. You're a hot piece of ass. Fuck, I'm gonna fucking take advantage of you after this. Fuck, you're sweaty, dude. Oh my God. Bro, are we getting a sweat PR today or what? Yeah. One of the most moist individuals I've ever come across, this guy. World record power lifter though. It is a true fact. I'm pretty cool. You're I have like a, super I, sick, bro. I have a, I'm, I'm pretty fucking <laughs> sick. I'm pretty fucking sick. I have a lot of followers, you know? Exactly. Cool brand. I have had sex a few times that's with, good. Wow. with women. Four inch penis. Dude, that's huge. Soft. Hard. Five. <laughs> Yo, do you like struggle to fit in some machines? You must. Flying yeah. is definitely difficult yeah, though, because it's hard for me. I'm like tall for flying. So. Yeah. Yo, one time, bro, this was our flight back. I had a fever, right? We went to Chicago. It was like a seven hour flight. Anyway, I have like pretty wide like shoulders and I'm in between two of the most obese people I've ever seen. Bro, and they smelled like shit and I have a fever, right? And I'm just sitting there and like, bro, my body temperature, I swear, is 120 degrees, man. It's awful. Yo, if you're fat, get the fuck off fucking economy, okay? I do fitness and shit, but I'm actually a rapper for real. Like, I have bars. You wanna, yo, Shen, let's do a fucking rap battle. Like, I'll kill you in a rap battle. Right. Give me a word. Apple. Apple's yummy. I'll eat your apple. I'll spread your apple. How is that a rap? I don't know, I can't, I'm not a fucking rap. Just let me freestyle. I'm gonna freestyle. I got black, I got white, what you want. <laughs> dun 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 dun. 
something and you know what I mean. You, you, it's good, right? When I read hate comments, I'm always like, yo, like, who is this idiot? But I actually got one really funny fucking hate comment. Someone said I look like the villain in Megamind. He's like a nerd, and then he gets buff after, like, he gets powers, and he has, like, a fucking ginger afro. Do you know what I'm talking about? Actually, so hard being the biggest guy here. Like, I just feel bad, bro. I'm just mogging. It's just, like, it's crazy. Wait, you don't think he's natty? How long have you been training? Cause like I would even look at you and be like, oh, he's probably not an addict. Yeah, and then you look at him. Anything more than me, you're like, fuck, this guy has to be on. So consensus, not an addict. His name is Consensus. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm saying the consensus oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. is that he's not natural. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm definitely not. Only 30 pounds. <laughs> yeah, but I bet he can't even fight though. Can't even fight. I'm way sicker than him. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> see if the biggest six foot five natural bodybuilder can do on the basketball court. I'm not too sure. Finish our game, now Shan's gonna go against some random kid. Shan, on defense, stand there. Oh. Here we go. Yes, yes, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Shan's actually doing pretty good, he hit a fucking three, so. in the NBA, so I'm not that bad. It's not that serious. We're just trying to film like a little fun video for ourselves. Like there's no one here. It's about to close. We have like literally two more minutes left and we're good. Like we'll literally leave. I'm just asking that you put the camera away because it is still rec time. Okay. So I've made the executive decision as CEO of Retaliation Project to eat the boys out. I mean, take the boys out to eat. So we're actually gonna get Chinese barbecue now. I've had Chinese barbecue with him and Long Tendo. That was an absolute fever dream of an experience. I wish it was on camera. It is not on camera. It is your first time having Chinese barbecue? Yes, sir. So really good food. We're gonna go in and enjoy. We're supporting a local business here. I'm gonna give them a million dollars for being in the video as well, because I'm Mr. Beast. Okay, let's go. So over the last little bit you've been here, a lot of people have been curious. They just want to know more about you. So tell me a little bit about your background, where you come from, and how you even got here. I'm born in Ivory Coast. I came to Norway uh, when I was like eight months old. So I've just been there for like my whole life. And my mom is from Liberia and my dad's from Ghana. So I'm West African. Another question has been regarding your cut. Because when you started off on social media, you were a big body. So what was your peak bulk weight and what was your peak cut weight? My peak bulk weight was 150 kg. So 330 pounds now at that point I was just like <laughs> I just had big ass guy no I was just I was just wide bro and then uh, my peak cut weight was uh, 118 kg I don't know how much that is in like 260 now I'm chilling at like 120 121 so like 270 almost 270 and so as far as the gym how long have you been lifting because obviously you're not gonna build this physique in like one year I started when I was 14 and a half in uh, 2018 I've been training for six and a half years now
now. I used to play soccer, but then I quit. I just got lazy. So my mom was like, yo, you gotta get a new sport. So she just was saying like basketball, she was saying table tennis. And she came to t uh, I mean the gym, and I was like, okay, fuck it. And then I started. Well, I gotta say, if you're my opponent in table tennis, I'd be fucking shitting my pants. I'm not quite sure what I would do with myself if I saw you standing across. I'll be a crazy ass table tennis. <laughs> All right, now, the most important question, Mr. Gorilla, are you natural? I am. So for me, right, if I looked at you, I would say no. How do you feel when people just look at you and assume you're not natural? Do you take it as a compliment or do you think it's kind of derogatory in terms of like the work you put in? Because you honestly, genuinely, bro, you work really hard. I got to give it to you. It depends on the way it's said, you know? It's like, you look at somebody, but nah, you're not natural. It's like, okay, I admire your physique. But if it's like, nah, you're just like that because of steroids, uh, it's like, yeah. they, like they're shitting on you, you know? Right. So it's, it's kind of the way they say, right? Yeah. yeah, okay. For guys who are interested in hopping on, potentially, and have it, do you have any words in terms of like when they should consider hopping on or just staying natural in general? Like, what are your thoughts on that? You gotta master everything before you hop on. So like, your diet, your training. Because if you if you don't have anything on lock, you just start doing steroids, what's gonna happen? You look like me. <laughs> now, but it's like, steroids are just gonna boost the process. If your process is fucked up, how can you boost a broken process? Very well said. Now the last question. Will you be ever hopping on steroids? I'll be will be on Wednesday. It's gonna be scary. It's gonna be scary. Wednesday, not natty. Dub.